Welcome to the sports contraption, Mystery Caller. How say you, sir? Hello? Hello? Is this the Ed? Who? The Ed, is this you? Yeah. Hey, the oh, Ed, it's Dave. I it's, hear you it's, talking about horses. That's exactly yeah. right. Hey, the Ed, this is perfect. Do you mind, uh, we, as a matter of fact, we got to take a break right now. How about, do you mind sticking around for uh, a couple minutes through the commercial? We'll talk to you about your Belmont picks here on the other side. Yeah, I'm just at home right now. All right, well, that's all you. That's the only place you have to be. And then we'll talk about the ponies, and we'll see who you think's going to win this race here. Yeah, I'm going to win this time. I'm telling you, I told you last time I was going to win, but I didn't. But no. this time I'm going to win. All right, good. Call on your shot. I like it. All right, good. We'll hear from the Ed and also hear what the latest is. He called in a few nights ago, and he uh, had some exciting news about that, about the, on the baby front, and he'll update you on that, see where we stand with that. In the meantime, 412-333-9370, the sports contraption on 93.7, the zone. I'm living in the Pittsburgh city, that's what I say. Some people like it, it's kind of okay. You got the green and the yellow, that's what the Steelers wear. They want to be good, but I say that they're fair. The <laughs> Pirates are golden and good as can be. They never had a Super Bowl champion like me. My name is Ed, and I listen to the Dave. Wow. And they got a brand new house. He don't live in no cave. <laughs> And the man's name's the Dick Banks. He's playing all the songs. His song is taking kind of long. Wow, there he is. We're back on the sports contraption, and we're talking to the Ed. He just called in to talk Belmont Stakes. The Ed, welcome back to the sports contraption. How say you, sir? I say everything's good. What about you? Well, you know, I'm about to, uh, I'm here in uh, California tonight, and then uh, me and uh, my bride, Cindy, and uh, my little baby, Lemieux Crosby Damashek, we're getting on the airplane, and we're going to move out to Pittsburgh, and then maybe uh, you and me and some other people, we all get together and have that barbecue you've been talking about. I'd be curious to know if uh, the little baby girl's going to be there. What's the latest on that? I ain't heard nothing. I got well, a I I haven't heard nothing from nobody, but I got a sign on my door today from the Gateway Pest Control. Want to know, do I need them to come out? What? Why? What happened? Did you have some sort of uh, infestation or something? No, ain't no infestation going on, nothing. So you don't have any bugs. Well, I mean, maybe the little, uh, maybe the little baby bug there. She brought, you know, you had, you were feeding her donuts and salsa and stuff like that. Maybe some crumbs got around and drew some ants or something. That's all. I don't know. They had them on everybody's door. I think they're just trying to make some money. That could be. Yeah. Well, they're trying to run a business now. Last time you I'm called looking. in the. Uh, yeah. You, you said that you were hoping to uh, that uh, the uh, child services there in Pittsburgh got in touch with you, and they said, as you said at least, that, that you're in the running to get this baby because the mother is in jail for whatever reason, right? Yeah, but they ain't called me back since that time. They haven't said mm. nothing yet, so all I can do is, you know, cross my fingers up and hope that they'll come through and they'll bring her over and bring her home. I mean, if she's listening, I'd like her to let her know I love her. Ah, oh, that's nice, that's, yet. That's even though she doesn't speak, you know, she probably doesn't speak or understand English. Where yet, exactly is she now? They took her. They came by, in case yeah. you didn't hear, yeah, Child Services stopped by, what was it, a week and a half or so ago, and they took the baby from the Ed. Yeah, somebody came by, and they said it's probably the best, best, mis, mis, best, best interest, interest of the baby. Right. And And they said that the baby would be well off, and I said, well... I don't know about all that stuff, but they said, uh, we'll keep in touch with you if we might give you the baby. And then they called me, and they said, well, the mom is in jail, and she's not going to be getting out no time soon, it looked like. Mm -hmm. They said she was on them drugs. Those drugs uh -oh. ain't good for you. The Ed, have you Generally, ever... Generally, they're not. Generally speaking, the drugs are not good for you. No, yeah, the Ed. Now, have you ever dabbled? You did say that uh, you have, on occasion in your life, smoked a little bit of weed, right? Well, that's not a drug. Well, I mean, I think it's an, it's considered an illegal drug, right, by the government. I ain't never really heard that. You haven't, you haven't uh, gotten wind of that? 
Vegas is a weird place where you spent the last many years of your life there. But yeah, I mean, it's not you're not allowed to go around smoking the weed out in you public or anything. You cannot buy it in a store. I know that. You got that buy is it exactly like right. A, like a friend, you got to know somebody who got it because they don't put it in the stores. But they're supposed to be talking about making it where you can buy it in a store. Right, for people it. who have glaucoma people, and stuff. Old people can get it. Yeah. Well, then you have to make friends with old people, obviously. The Ed's no spring chicken. No offense, the Ed. The Ed is 54 years of age himself. That's you got to start watching your mouth, Dave. I'm sorry, the Ed. You always Listen, say I... something. No, you no, no. You get riled up on you. And you, get, you said you're coming to Pittsburgh. Right. I, know what the, I rode the bus the other day by the station. I know where it is now. I've seen it. Well, I'd love for you to come by the station. That would that would be a great thrill if the Ed would I'm actually come in. You, if I'm mad, you wouldn't like it. Really? You think you could take me, the Ed? I'm a I'm a younger man than you. I'm a you know I'm th- my late third. I'm 37 years of age. Are you white or black? I'm a white guy. I'll whip you. Really? That's that's all. That's all the information you need to know. That's pretty much it. Well, but I'm I'm like six foot tall, you know, probably one eighty five. I'm no uh, I'm no midget or anything. Well, I'm I'm about five foot and nine inches tall, mm-hmm. and I weigh. Well, when I was younger, I weighed about one forty five. Now I weigh about one sixty. Well, that doesn't really, the, the the younger weight doesn't really count. Now, Ed. Yeah, I'm, but it doesn't, what, re- it doesn't really matter what you weighed before. Well, what difference does it make? Any? I'm, I, you're a boxing fan, the Ed. Wouldn't I be able to, based on that, you're, I'm in a completely different weight class. I'd have the reach on you. I'd have the youth on you. I don't know what you have over me. You just saw little Floyd beat up Oscar, and little Floyd started out weighing 125, 130, and he jumped all the way up to 155 mm-hmm. and beat him. So you would put, in other words, if we if we had a bout scheduled, you would just add some weight before the bout went down. You'd you're come up in weight pro. class. You're not a pro, so I don't think I'd need it. All right. Well, I don't want I'll, Ed. Ne- let's never let that you happen. Don't want it's tangle fun- with me. You don't want to tangle and dangle with me. What if uh, it's? I'm not looking to tangle. But it, it seemed the determining factor was race. What if you added pounds and Dave added some blackness? Would that even the scales? I don't know if he could do that. I could I could always gain weight, but he can't never you know, he go to the tanning booth, but I don't think that counts. <laughs> it might. The We're point the is shot. I don't want to tangle with the ad. I don't I want I listen. I don't know how we got on this. I, I consider the ad a friend. You know better. Yeah, that's a that's, that's, that's <laughs> well it's not about that I know better the ad. I'm <laughs> saying that I don't want to tangle with you. And that mayor of P P B C he don't want it either. Oh, well, you don't have to call out uh, other people who call into the sports I'm calling out anybody who wants to say it. I don't want it, but you keep saying things that make me then get uh, get me angry. You say, I know better. I don't know better. You're a 54-year-old man who's much smaller than I am. Well, let's just calm down and talk business. All right, let's talk. That's, that's a good idea. Amen. Let's talk about that. Move Amen. on to uh, the horses uh, tomorrow. The Belmont Stakes. Who do you have, Dad? This is your big one. You say you're going to win for sure this week. Give us a tip here. Well, listen, the last fight or race, what race, I always call them fight. Mm-hmm. Listen, the last race, Curlin won the race. Right. I do not respect that horse. I don't like him. Why? I don't, I just don't know what, I don't know what he's doing. Something fishy about him. And I just don't think he's going to be able to go to the distance. Mm-hmm. And the other horse that a lot of people like is called Hard Spun, and you've heard me probably say that I picked him a couple of times, and I've been wrong. Mm-hmm. And I just don't think he's going to do it because he keeps coming in second and third. He just ain't a winner. Mm-hmm. But there's a horse that, that ran a couple of weeks back when they had the long race, and he came, I think, in third or fourth, and he came flying. And mm-hmm. with a longer distance, I think he's going to make it. You can get him. I've seen it. Odds are 20 to 1. So what does that mean? You bet $1, you're going to get 20 back. That's exactly That's what that means. That's a pretty good deal. Right, yeah. So, or if I bet uh, $2, 40 you'll back, get, right? you get about, yeah, you get about $40 back. And what if, I bet, four, what if I bet $4? 